Hello. It's good to see you. Happy New Year. Today we're going to be taking a look at my outfits for this week at work. There are only four days in my work week this week because I had today off. I spent most of the day putting up Christmas decorations, taking stuff down, putting it away, um, and stuff like that. And my younger son and I went out and I wanted to try to find a hat for Walter, my little frog that lives downstairs. He's not real. Um, I wanted to find a New Year's hat, but I couldn't find one. But at Dollar Tree, I found him a Valentine's Day hat. Look at that. It's got a little heart. He's just a little rubber toad. He's not actually a frog. He's a toad. And um, I thought I would just start trying to find him hats for different, uh, different holidays. This was attached to a gnome that they had at Dollar Tree. And I had to basically behead the gnome. It was very disturbing to see what it looked like. Because <laughs> it was glued to the top of his head. So I had to kind of cut it off. So I just cut the top of this port. Well, you can't see their face. You know, all you see is like their nose. Anyway, Walter has a hat now for Valentine's Day. And it has red plush. And then a little bit of this white felt. And then this pink bit of fabric right here. And I just taped it to the top of his head. It's not very secure, but it's on there for now. So Walter's ready for Valentine's Day. I was hoping to find him a little New Year's hat, but I couldn't find one. That's okay. Um, okay, so we only have four days this week. So um, I thought I would also show you... Now, I didn't do anything for New Year's. I was at home watching a movie. And it was actually kind of funny because I think the same thing happened last year. I don't know what is wrong with my neighbors, because I do believe this also happened last year. So I was watching a movie last night. I was watching The Revenge of the Pink Panther, and um, at about 11.30, I started hearing fireworks going off. Just all of a sudden, it was quiet, and then all of a sudden, there were these fireworks, boom, 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 you know, for just, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then it stopped, and it was dead silent after that. I thought that was, because I'm looking at my watch like, it's not midnight. It's no, it's like 11.30. What was that about? I figure alcohol was probably a factor. So, so midnight comes and goes, and I don't hear a thing. There was nothing. Absolutely no, n nothing. And I'm in a heavily populated area, and there was nothing. But then, and I'm still watching my movie, and then about 12.15, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> And it wasn't just like one location, it was multiple locations to the point that I got up and checked the time elsewhere, like maybe my phone and my watch are wrong. No, it was 12.15. I don't know what happened, but again, I, I imagine alcohol was a factor. So I didn't go out, but I thought it would be fun to show you. Initially, I was gonna show you the outfit I would have worn if I were going out. I had no interest in going out, so I didn't. But if I were to go out, what would I wear? I thought it would be simple, but we're going to look through the four outfits of the week and then I will explain to you why it ended up being not so simple. <laughs> so I do have my outfits because I do have to go back to work tomorrow. So it's a four day week and I do work in an office. And if you've not seen any of my outfit of the week videos before, um, I know sometimes I do these videos where I show you what I would pick out to wear. This outfit started with a long, it's like a cardigan, this long cardigan that I found at Goodwill a few days ago. And it, I just thought it was so pretty. So we have this long cardigan. Now it's kind of thin. It's not a very thick material, but I love the colors. It's so striped and it comes out like this and it hangs down. So it hangs like this. It almost looks like a, a curtain. It's like, it reminds me of the fringe on a curtain. But I thought the colors were so pretty. And then to pair with this, I just went with this sort of a taupe colored long sleeve top. And this is actually a base layer from 32 degrees, 32 degrees heat. I think you've probably seen ads for their stuff online. They have coats and base layers and sweaters and stuff. And I love their base layers. If you take a look at this, I'm going to take this off. I, I will show you the accessories in a second. This is um, a simple top. 
and I love these. I have these in so many different colors. This is just a long sleeve top. It is a thin material, but it's quite warm. And the, the office I work in sometimes can be kind of drafty. I get, I get chilly, but I love to wear these underneath whatever I'm wearing. Most of the time at work, I'm wearing at least, I have on two layers. I will have on something like this and then something over it. And then I have an additional sweater <laughs> in my desk drawer if, I, if that's not enough. But these are great. I have these in all different colors and they put them on sale, usually around Christmas. Um, I think it was back on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. They had a sale and these were on sale for $7.99 a piece. And I already had quite a few, but they had some in colors that I didn't have. And this was one of them. This nice kind of a, it's just a, like a, a light brown beige. And I thought it would look nice with this because this kind of has a little bit of a, like a beige stripe in it. This top is from New Directions and it's quite long as you can see. And it does have long sleeves, nice long sleeves. So I'm going to tuck this back there, there. Honestly, I kind of thought a longer necklace would look nice with this, but the colors were kind of throwing me off a little bit. I was looking at the colors and I had several long necklaces that I thought would look okay. But then when I actually paired them with it, I didn't like it. So ultimately, I chose this necklace right here. Now this necklace, I don't wear much because it doesn't really go with much that I wear, but I thought it would look nice with this top. It's kind of a reddish orange color, and then you have these little brass beads down here. They're not actually brass, though. They're plastic, so they're very lightweight. This necklace has a lobster claw clasp and about two to two and a half inches of adjustable chain. I don't know who made it. There's no name on it. pretty though. I like it. <laughs> and for earrings, I was really happy with the earrings because I have this little pair of clip-on earrings that I almost never get to wear because again, the colors in the earrings don't really go with a lot of what I wear. And the top has kind of that same brass color as these beads here. And it has these reddish orange beads, orange and off-white it has a nice combination of colors to it. Now you could say this is more like a fall sweater, but I do what I want. And if I want to wear it in January, I wear it in January. I like the tassels on it, the fringe, and I just got it, so I wanted to wear it. But it's great because then I get to wear my little earrings with it. And I have this pretty stretchy wooden beaded bracelet. And a very special person gave me this. They found it at a street fair in Boone, North Carolina a couple of years ago. It was some sort of festival or something. And they thought I would like it, so they bought this for me. And again, I think that would just look so cute with it there. And I have this pair of pants. Well, leggings, anyway. But they, I know a lot of people say leggings aren't pants, but these are completely opaque and they really are just like pants basically ladies ultra plush leggings i bought a bunch of these at uh, aldi when they had them a, a couple of months ago and i found this really interesting pair i haven't worn them yet obviously i'm gonna wash them before i wear them but they're really great they give you the features on the back of the package we have flat a flat elastic waistband full coverage they're completely opaque you're not going to see anything through them soft and cozy and they really are it's like wearing pajamas i mean they feel like pajama bottoms <laughs> they really do they're very velvety and soft soft and comfortable they really are and i thought this color was really interesting it's like um it's like a brick red color it's not really orange but it's not really red either it's like a brick red but i thought this would be nice to go with this top and I haven't, I've, I've had these for a while. They've been sitting in my closet and I haven't really had anything to wear them with. And it's perfect for tomorrow because as soon as I get done, I have a load of clothes I have to wash anyway. And they're all really, it's dark stuff. So I can throw this in with it and it should be fine. 
Just to be on the safe side though, I might wash them by themselves for the first time, especially since they're kind of a reddish color. Sometimes the, you know, the, the dye can bleed onto other things. Maybe I'll wash them by themselves. But I thought they would be perfect to go with this top. I really love it. I got it for $4.99 at Goodwill. Oh, and if you're new here, most of my clothes come from thrift stores. I have been an avid thrift shopper, shopper now for almost 30 years. And these came from Aldi. These were $6.99 and I loved them. The first pair I bought was a gray pair and I loved them so much. I went back and I got, I have them in gray, navy blue, black, and this kind of a reddish color. Oh, and they had one with a Christmas design. I only got to wear them once though before Christmas, but that's okay. So these are from Sarah, which is a, an Aldi brand. And for shoes, um, to go with this, I have a dark brown pair of knee-high boots here, and I thought that would be nice to go with this. So we're going to have this top here with the beige top underneath it, and our pants here, our little pants, and our earrings here, and our boots, and that is my outfit for Tuesday. I forgot to mention too, I have a fashion tragedy. I had to share it with you. If you've watched these videos, you know, very frequently, you've probably seen this pair of earrings right here. This is one of my favorite pair of earrings. You notice I'm only holding one. This is a, one of my spring clip hoop earrings and it's a brass hoop, you know? I've had these for years. I lost one. <laughs> I did, and I don't know where I lost it. I had these on, and I was out running errands, and I stopped at probably four different places, and somewhere along the way, I lost an earring. I backtracked as much as I could, but I was not able to locate the other earring. I looked in my car, I looked in the house all around, and it's just gone. I'm still trying to find another pair on, e on eBay. I got these on eBay many, year many years ago. I haven't been able to find them yet, but I'm going to keep looking. But I had to share my tragedy because this earring has been featured in these videos many times. <laughs> and I've lost one, and I'm sad. So I just wanted to share my sadness with you. <laughs> R.I.P. earring. <laughs> the hem of the skirt of a dress caught my eye for Wednesday, and that is what inspired my outfit. A lot of the times when I'm putting together my outfits for um, to wear to work or anywhere, usually we'll start with one thing. It will be maybe a, a pair of earrings, a sweater, a pair of shoes. I will something will just catch my eye, and then I will just build an entire outfit around whatever that is. And for this outfit for Wednesday, it was the skirt of this dress right here. This caught my eye. It was in the closet in there. And um, I, I have a, a little shoe rack right under where my, my skirts and dresses hang in the closet. And this hem of this skirt was kind of somehow sort of sticking out. And I looked at it and I said, ooh, we should do an outfit based on this dress. Let's wear this dress on Wednesday. So I'm going to take, I have this wrap over it. I'm going to take this off so you can see the dress itself. Now it is sleeveless. Typically I would not wear a sleeveless dress in January because I don't want to be cold all day. But I think it'll be okay. I bought this dress at the, a place called, I always call it the little thrift store. It's this tiny independently owned church run thrift store. And most stuff in there is three or four dollars. I think I paid three dollars for this dress at the little thrift store. It is sleeveless. It has an interesting pattern to it. If you see, it's this beautiful teal blue and it has like a zebra stripe for part of it. And then you have these little abstract dots. And then these remind me of SpaghettiOs. <laughs> they make me think of SpaghettiOs. <laughs> these little circles. So. The challenge with a dress like this, or the challenge for me, 
was trying to find accessories that would go with it but not clash because I, I kind of feel like with a pattern like this you already have so much going on you don't really want any other patterns trying to compete with this because they won't be able to <laughs> nothing can compete with this pattern it's like it's it, it should have its own tv show i mean look at this it's insane but this dress is fun it has an asymmetrical hemline to it which means it doesn't go straight across it kind of dips down and it has a flare to it so it kind of it kind of swings as you walk it's very fun i like it a lot so you'll notice some beadwork here along the front we have these little teal colored beads and in between them are some little uh, black beads they're kind of an oval shape multifaceted these little beads here they are plastic all of these beads are plastic and then the top is just black this dress has a very interesting uh, name on it I've never heard of this perception concept but perception is spelled P-E-R space capital S-E-P-T-I-O-N perception concept I'm not familiar with them but I do kind of like this dress it's very fun I don't know why but it makes me think of Betsy Johnson it's, I don't know it just does I looked through every necklace I have which if you know how much jewelry I have it took a while I couldn't find a necklace that went with it I kind of felt like this one does though now when you actually wear this necklace it's not going to come down this far because you see my my neck is bigger than that so it's going to kind of bring it up a little bit like this so it's going to actually be up more like like that so it's not going to be down here hitting this stuff while I wear and one fun thing about it is I can wear this stretchy bracelet. This bracelet goes with nothing I own. <laughs> it really doesn't go with anything I own. It has a very interesting color to it. You have these blue-green pieces here. And then you have these that are like a midnight blue. I don't know though. I kind of think it works with this. It's not a bunch of crazy colors and patterns. But I feel like the, the colors go really well with the, the colors in this dress. So the, there we have that. And I, I thought I would also pair a black belt with it to kind of cinch the waist a little bit. And um, I thought of that because to go over my shoulders, because it is January and I don't want to freeze to death, I have this black sweater right here. So in order to kind of, I thought it would look cute. To kind of cinch the waist a little bit kind of bring it in a little bit right at the waist um, and I don't know I thought it would look nice with this with this black sweater here so I'm gonna have this belt here and the belt has elastic in the back to kind of you know it, it you can make it snug but it's still comfortable so I'm gonna have a black belt at the waist and my little black suede boots my little ankle boots from earth shoe to go with it and let me tell you if you need good arch support, which I do, I have plantar fasciitis in my right foot, so I'm very mindful of arch support, and I have arthritis in my big toes, so that's another issue. These are the most comfortable little shoes. They have rubber soles, and they have wonderful arch support. I love these shoes so much. They're as comfortable as a pair of tennis shoes. I mean, I think they are. They're just as comfortable as running around in a pair of tennis shoes all day, or sneakers, depending on the part of the country you're from. We call them tennis shoes where I grew up, or gym shoes. You, you, know, you know what I mean? Sneakers, tennis shoes, maybe. I don't know. But they're just as comfortable as that. But they're still, I think they're still kind of cute. I like them anyway. Some people say they're grandma shoes. Yeah, I don't think they are. I think they're cute, and I don't care anyway. As long as I'm comfortable, I'm happy. And for earrings... I wasn't really sure because again I don't want some crazy earrings with a bunch of colors and stuff because the dress already has plenty of color going on so I thought I would wear these elephant earrings look at these they're made of wood let me put the dress down I'll show you it's an elephant see check it out 
They are very lightweight too. They're laser cut out of balsa wood and painted or stained. And it's an elephant. They're elephant earrings. And they're so light. And I thought these would just be kind of funky and fun to wear with this dress. I will be converting these to clip-on earrings. It's very simple to do. If you ever want to know how to do that, you can search my channel for uh, converting, convert pierced earrings or something like that. Because I don't have pierced ears. Um, long story short, when I was 12, I had them pierced. It didn't work out. I let it grow up and now I wear clip-on earrings and I have lots of pairs of them. So it's not a big deal. But there's a very easy way to take a pair of earrings like this and make them you know, you can wear them without having pierced ears. It's super quick. So I will have to do that with these, but that is not a problem. I might do another video at some point converting um, pierced earrings to clip on because I do have quite a, I have several pairs that I haven't converted and I might just sit down and make a video with it at some point. So yeah, it's a fun little thing. Now this necklace here, I bought this on eBay and it was kind of funny when I got it because in the pictures this pendant looked much smaller <laughs> and I got it and it was just ginormous but I, I liked it. I still liked it. I thought it was pretty but initially I thought it was going to be about this big. I wanted something with a small pendant but it was huge. <laughs> I kept it anyway because I still thought it was pretty. It had a lobster claw clasp but it broke almost immediately so I had to add another. I just have a small brass colored lobster claw clasp and there's no adjustable chain to it. So it's just a nice little basic necklace that goes with pretty much anything. And my fun little stretchy bracelet with the different shades of blue. That's going to go with it. And a fun little belt to go around the waist. My elephant earrings and my little black suede booties. That is my outfit for Wednesday. Thursday's outfit started with a fun fuzzy cardigan. I love this sweater. Started with this cardigan right here. Now it's very subtle, but if you look at it, there is, and it's very hard to see, but there is a glint in it. It has just a little bit of a gold metallic thread running through it and it's very fuzzy. It's like chenille kind of and it has these little plastic buttons. We have four buttons going down and this is from Ann Taylor. I think just about everything I've shown you came from a thrift store. This came from a thrift store and then underneath it we have this really cool little sweater. I want to show you this. It's a thin sweater. Now, this is from Chico's. This also came from a thrift store. I love the color of it. It's kind of a dark taupe. And we have a v-neck. And it also has a bit of a shine to it. It has a little bit of a metallic thread running through it. And it has a nice little cable knit. Long sleeves. To go with this, it, since it has kind of a gold color, I decided I would go with some gold hoop earrings. Now these are clip-ons. They have a little spring clip in them and I buy these on eBay and if you go to eBay and just search for spring clip earrings, you can find these in all different colors and sizes. And so this is just a gold pair of those spring clip earrings and I have a multi-stranded necklace here. This has a lobster claw clasp and about three inches of adjustable chain. I like this necklace with the sweater because it's gold, but it's not a brassy, shiny gold. It's not like a super in-your-face shiny gold color. See? So, I kind of feel like it goes with the, the little bit of a gold in the sweater pretty well. But this is a thin material, and I would freeze to death if I just wore this to work. <laughs> that is why I wanted to pair it with this fun little fuzzy sweater. It is, it's almost like it's furry. It's like, and it's, it is so warm. Oh my gosh, this sweater, this cardigan is so incredibly warm. I love it. It doesn't have any pockets or anything, but that's okay. You can see the length of it here. It's not, it's not super long, but it's not cropped either. 
and put these back together. Like that. So this actually does kind of peek out a little bit. Not quite that much when I actually wear it, but it does peek out a little bit. It's okay. It's not... I don't think the fashion police will arrest me for it. So, to go with that, I looked through my skirts, because originally I wanted to wear this with a skirt, and I looked at every skirt I have, and I have a lot of skirts, and none of them really just, I, I paired it with several skirts, and it, none of them looked right. I just didn't like the way any of them looked with it. So I decided to go with this off-white pair of pants here. So they're, they're kind of an ivory color or a winter white. They're a little bit whiter than the top, but that's okay. This pair of pants is from New York and Company. And they have a like a straight leg here, you can see. So it's just a nice, I love this slick material. They're, they're made of this sort of a, like a satiny material. And they're, they're actually very comfortable. And then I looked through, so I looked at all my shoes and I decided to go with a pair of little, little ankle boots. This little pair of ankle boots right here, these are from Limelight. And I've had these for several years and I don't wear them a whole lot. But I thought they would look cute with that. All of this together is for Thursday. And if you're like me, that... This period of time around between Christmas and New Year's and then right after it's just kind of weird and I have to constantly remind myself what day it is because sometimes I forget because <laughs> it just all kind of runs together but for Thursday we have a cardigan with a v-neck sweater gold earrings gold necklace this pair of winter white pants and these fun little boots and that is the outfit for Thursday. And that brings us to Friday. Now, on a lot of Fridays recently, I've been wearing jeans because we are allowed to wear jeans on Fridays. But this outfit was inspired by a Christmas present to myself. I purchased this little round shoulder bag from Portland Leather Goods. And it's the color name is Sunflower and it's just a little circle crossbody bag and I had been looking at it for quite a while and then they had them on sale and I this was a Christmas present to myself <laughs> I thought it was pretty and it's oh it's so soft too it's very soft Wow, I like it so this was hanging in my closet and I thought I haven't used that yet I should try to put together an outfit that would look good with this bag. So, here's where we started. We started with a purse. And normally I don't accessorize my purse. I use the same purse pretty much every day. But I saw this one and I really liked it, so I got it. So, I'm looking at the color. Now, you have to consider the shade of yellow. You know, you can't you can't just pair everything with this. It's almost like a mustard yellow. You know, it's not a bright yellow, it's not a canary yellow, it's just sort of a, a muted mustard yellow. Yeah, the color on their website is actually called Sunflower. Um, so, I was looking at it and thinking, I don't really have a lot of stuff this color. I discovered that once I started actually looking through everything I have. I really don't have a lot that's this color. I used to have a turtleneck that was almost exactly that color, but I think I got rid of it because I never wore it. And periodically, I do I do go through all my clothes, and anything I haven't worn in a year or two is donated. And I think that one got donated. So I didn't have that, but I have this. I have this sweater right here. Now look at this. I think it's just perfect. Look at that. This came from Goodwill. It's from Mama, pa Mama Pacha Baby Alpaca. It was made in Peru. And it's made of alpaca wool. I get this for five bucks at Goodwill. It's uh, it's pretty. I get compliments every time I wear it. It is very pretty. I like the design, and it's very soft and warm, and I love it. 
these buttons are covered in fabric as well and you can see that the buttons are all different colors we have kind of a red one purple that's kind of a yellowish green or a sage green teal purple red sage green teal and then we have this nice little pattern but inside of that pattern you do kind of have a golden yellow color in there so I thought this would be perfect so then what do I pair with this what do I wear with this well this cardigan is so warm I don't actually have to worry about the the warmth of whatever is under it of course I'm gonna wear something under it it's not scratchy at all either I love it it is it's so soft and it but it's not scratchy at all so I decided to just go with a little camisole like this it's dark brown and I can never, that's the front, I believe. I can never tell which is the front. So that is just to have a little layer underneath it. So I'm going to go with just this right here, a sleeveless little, little top here. That's from Ann Taylor. This came from a thrift store too. <laughs> so we're going to have this on underneath it. And I had a skirt out for consideration for yesterday's outfit. This one right here. I have this dark brown. This is a very dark brown. It's almost black, but it's not quite. It's like a coffee color. This um, corduroy skirt. I love it because it just it has a kind of a flare to it, like that one dress has, the zebra funky print dress. It has a nice flare to it. It has an unfinished hem on it. It's made that way on purpose. It's unfinished, so it's kind of sort of raggedy going down, you know, but I think it's really cute. But it is, it is corduroy, but it's a fine corduroy. It's not the, the, the really, I can't remember the different grades of corduroy. Little ridges, not big ones, but it's still there. I looked at this for yesterday's, uh, for Wednesday, uh, Thursday's outfit, but it just, it was too dark for that brown, gold v-neck sweater it was just too dark and I had another one that was close but it, when I put them together it looked too orange so it wouldn't work and then when I was thinking about shoes I have I'm trying to wear all of my boots I have a lot of boots I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to wear these now these are also very dark brown they are faux suede they have the little decorative buckle here that does absolutely nothing you can see it just stops right there and there's a zipper going up the inside here there's another buckle up here that does absolutely nothing they have a nice little wedge heel on them right here but it's not too much it's not too crazy nice little rubber sole and they have this faux uh faux fur faux sherpa lining i have a magazine rolled up on the inside i just recycle magazines by using them to hold up my boots I was using cut up pool noodles in my boots, but we have this new cat named Marty. He is obsessed with pool noodles and he found a pool noodle in one of my boots while I was gone one day. He got in the closet, he found one, pulled it out and demolished it and then proceeded to do the same with a couple others. <laughs> this cat is so chaotic. So I'm either gonna have to start leaving the closet door closed or replace all the pool noodles with rolled up magazines. He doesn't care about the magazines, but the pool noodle stuff, he doesn't eat it. But I want to I don't want to have it around for him to, you know, ingest any of it, but he is just he loves to claw at it and chew at it and tear it up. So, but you can use you can take pool noodles and cut them up and stick them in your boots too, but with my new cat, I don't I, I don't know. So, yeah, so we have this nice little pair, and they have this fur, faux fur lining stuff in them, and they're really comfortable. I really like them. So, an outfit that started with this crossbody bag for Portland leather. I do like it. It's very sassy. I think it's very cute, but it's also very roomy inside. It's very roomy. Look, it's got a lot of room in there. Well, there's a little pocket in there, too. And it also has a pocket on the outside. So we started with this little mustard yellow crossbody bag. And then we have the llama, the mama pa pacha, pacha alpaca. 
top. This dark brown corduroy skirt. And the boots. And that is the outfit for Friday. And then finally I have um, New Year's Eve. Now again, I didn't do anything, but I decided it would be kind of fun to put together a hypothetical outfit if I were going to go out. But then I got to thinking about it and I thought, well, it would depend on where I was going. And what, what was... What kind of night are we talking about here? Are we talking about one where we're inside and it's kind of subdued and a little bit more casual? Or are we talking about a night out on the town? What kind of New Year's Eve are we talking about? Because I've been to different kinds of New Year's Eve celebrations in my life. I am 50, but you know, 30 years ago, I might have gone to different kinds of occasions. Some were more dressy, some were more casual. So you kind of have to know how to dress. So I ended up putting together three outfits for New Year's Eve. One of them is a little bit more uh, casual. I'll show you that one first. The other two are a little bit more dressy. They're not super dressy, but they're more dressy than th the first one I'll show you. So for the first one, I started with this top, which I really love this top. I almost never wear it, but I never, every time I go through my closet and I start getting rid of things, I never get rid of this one because there's just something so special about it. Now this fabric, it's a rayon blend and it has a bit of a silver metallic thread running through it, but it's very subtle. There's a little bit of a glisten to it. And I thought this necklace would be really pretty with it because it has a, like a, a black mounting to it. And it's a teardrop necklace like this. Comes down like that. This is one of my favorite necklaces. I love it. I'll just wear it on a Tuesday. I don't care. <laughs> I'll just wear it on a regular day because I think it's pretty. So on the front, you do have these multifaceted little rhinestones attached to this top that has three quarter length sleeves. It's a fun little top and the, the back is just plain. You can see it has sort of a, a scoop, not really a scoop neck, but it's kind of a wide neck, comes out a little bit. This is from Sarah and Lily. So you have this nice little top here. And to go with that, I have a pair of faux leather pants and a belt. We have a fun little belt to go with the pants. these fun little links and so you can just put that around your waist you know and have it kind of hang down a little bit you know don't you don't make it super tight you can just let it kind of hang down a little bit this belt has a huge lobster claw clasp and all the adjustable chain <laughs> so you can make it as tight or as loose as you want I thought that would be fun to pair with the pants for a you know a fun little night out you want to be a little bit festive For the earrings, I have very sparkly earrings. These are some, see the great thing about having Charity as a character is I have lots of rhinestone jewelry. <laughs> so I raided Charity's jewelry stash, which I have in a special compartment in my jewelry armoire in there. Jewel, uh, Ch Charity has her own stuff. I've had people ask me if I'm gonna do, an do another video with her. I've thought about it, but Charity takes a lot of work and a lot of planning and I've kind of run out of ideas for her. So I don't really have anything planned. It's kind of, I kind of feel like I've done all with her that I really can. I mean, she's a very one dimensional character. She's, there's not a lot to her, but I still have most of her jewelry. So I found these rhinestone earrings and these were originally pierced earrings, but I took the pierced earring part off and added a small pair of silver spring clip hoop earrings to them so that I can wear them. And they're very comfortable. So that's going to go with this top. Again, we have this nice necklace to go with it. And the little earrings here. And the fun link belt. And for the shoes, again, I have my black suede ankle boots. I thought these would be really cute with the faux leather 
they're like skinny pants, little, little skinny pants, you know, but they're very stretchy and very comfortable, but they're made to look kind of like leather. They're not there, but it's kind of like a leathery look to it. So I thought these would look nice. So this would be for a more casual event, not a super formal affair, which I haven't been to too many of those in my life. I've been to a few, not many. Um, I honestly prefer the casual one. It's just, I don't know, it's more, more me, but. So that, along with the belt, would be the casual New Year's Eve. Now the other two outfits are more formal, as I said. Um, the first one, this one's kind of fun, I like this one. Now pretty, again, pretty much everything I'm showing you came from a thrift store. This, this top did, I love it. It's kind of a royal blue, little cropped sweater here. And it has this fun little ruffled look to it, like multi-layers, but it's not actually multi-layers. It's just a, a look. And since it's blue, I added my fake Heart of the Ocean necklace to it because it has rhinestones going all the way up. And I just thought it was fun. And it's the same shade of blue as this top or the sweater. We have a little rhinestone cuff bracelet here. This was in one of the Goodwill jewelry bags. I thought that would be a fun addition to it. I'll show you this dress. The dress came from a thrift store. It is just your basic little black dress. I think everybody needs one of these. It has a scoop neckline to it. It is sleeveless. It's from SL Fashions, whoever that is. But it's a, just a knee length basic black dress. This is I mean, it's perfect for whatever. You can dress it up. You can wear it anywhere you need to wear it. I've worn it to a funeral like twice, I think. I have turned it into a funeral dress with like a black blazer with it. It works. So it's really good. It's very multifunctional. It's a great little dress, but it also works for New Year's Eve. It's fun. Pair it with some, some rhinestones. You have your flashy little necklace here. Um, Earrings? I didn't really pick any earrings for this. I got so excited. I got ahead of myself. Um, I'd probably wear the pair that I picked out for the, the casual outfit. Those big teardrop rhinestone earrings. I think those would be perfect. So, I like this little, this little top. It's very cute. But that's going to keep your shoulders warm, especially if you have to go outside. And it can be chilly in January late December, January 1st. So that could help keep your little shoulders and arms a little bit warmer. And these are again, these are three quarter length sleeves, just like the other top for a casual New Year's Eve. So it's really going to show off your little cuff bracelet. And for both of the formal outfits, I have the same pair of shoes. I have these fun little sparkly, look at these heels. Oh my goodness. Look, they're totally encrusted in rhinestones. They're from L. Lorraine, and they have a little wedge in the back, and they're very sparkly. This is a perfect pair of shoes for New Year's Eve. Aren't they cute? <laughs> very sparkly, and they have a little ankle strap right here. A little open toe here. Very nice. So this would be the, the, the pair of shoes I would pick for either of these formal outfits. So that was the first formal outfit. Now, the second one, it, this is going to sound funny, but it's inspired by Miss Piggy. <laughs> I don't know. I Okay. I started with this pair of earrings right here. I have these fake Chanel pink rhinestone earrings. And I always kind of thought they reminded me of Miss Piggy. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> they make me think of, you know, from the Muppets. They like, it just looks like something she would wear. I don't know. <laughs> So I thought, well, let's, let's see what we can find to go with these, these pink rhinestone earrings for a second outfit. And I came up with this. This is a long, long black dress. It is, comes all the way down to my ankles. It is very long. This dress was basically free to me. And we, this made me think of Miss Piggy too. Now this was, this is one of Charity's. <laughs> faux fur stoles or wraps or whatever. 
and this is one of Charity's necklaces here. This just looks like Miss Piggy. It looks like something she would wear. I would totally wear this. I would wear this to a formal party. Absolutely. I'm going to remove this so you can see the dress. This dress has this nice drape in the front and the back is just plain. We have these spaghetti straps here. And I thought this sparkly, sort of a bib necklace would look really pretty with that. Look at all those rhinestones. I think Charity has worn that a couple of times. So this dress, I got this at a church yard sale where um, anything you could fit in a paper bag you could get for $5. And my bag was full, but I spotted this dress and thought it was beautiful and was able to cram it down in the bag. <laughs> Somehow I got it down in there, so I got it for... I, I wasn't even going to get it, but it fit in the bag, so I got it for $5 along with a bunch of other stuff. So I kind of feel like it was free, because I didn't think it would fit, but it did. And it fits me, and it's the per it fits me perfectly. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's very long. It's very long, and I can't even show it to you, because it's just so long. <laughs> but it's, it's long, it's sleek, it's elegant. And I thought it would be just perfect with this faux fur little stole here. I love this. And it would be just perfect with the little pink earrings. The little pink faux Chanel rhinestone earrings. And for a bracelet, I have a rhinestone stretchy snowflake bracelet to go with that. And then again, of course, the little sparkly shoes to go with that little outfit and the earrings. And that is my second formal outfit if I were going out for New Year's Eve that I could have possibly worn inspired by, of all things, Miss Piggy. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed getting to see these outfits. I always have so much fun putting them together and sharing them with you. I hope you enjoyed it too. And thank you so much for being here. I really hope that you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.